going to be reviewing one of the earlier albums that I did. Um, the paper collection for this is actually K and & Company and it's a Tim Coffey design and it is called Cottage Garden and has actually been one of my favorite collections. It's very vibrant, lots of bright colors. What I did throughout the album as the base page was use uh, multicolored sheets of cardstock that go with the different uh, papers themselves from the collection and it was just fun to do. The measurements, it's a 6 by 9 album, so 6 inches wide, 9 inches long. It is a handmade um, chipboard cover and then covered in black cardstock and then with some of the paper collection on the cover itself. On the back, fairly plain, but you can see again the vibrant colors that are here. And with the great big huge pink flower, I actually found a one, most of my flowers are actually from the dollar store or Dollarama, and I simply um, take them apart and use them either as they stand or a few petals, whatever the case may be, and this pink one just seemed perfect for the front embellishment with a beautiful pearl in the center, a half uh, flat back pearl. Then the spine um, itself, again some of the design paper, but over top of that I have some beautiful ribbon trim that actually is script in brown. It's a cream color with brown script that I really liked. And then the flowers, uh, the lace flower trim, again both of those things are from Michaels. On the inside front cover, it has a handmade envelope. I won't take it apart now, but it has a ribbon closure and you can store a number of things inside that. So it's just made with the envelope punch board. Then the inside, we start with the purple um, cardstock pages. And this has a flower uh, embellishment in the center on the belly band. And uh, again, a little gemstone there. And the same thing on the tag that pulls out from under the belly band. You can put a photo on the back. Um, or journaling with a white gel pen, for example, whatever you like, and that just sits in and there's a bit of a um, design paper catch at the bottom just to keep it from slipping out. Then over here we have uh, two facing pages that are very similar and they have just some sticker trim that uh, I found that matched the collection nicely. didn't come with it, but it went along well, so I've used stickers from that uh, throughout the album and some actual ribbon trim. And again, I have lots of rolls of ribbon in various colors, and uh, you can use this as a bit of a catch for um, also pictures or journaling, whatever the case may be. In this case, I've just made a couple of tags and uh, accented it with some ribbon and then another a larger one that has the design paper and it's black on the back and it's exactly the same on the other side as well. And still with the purple, in this case a little a little tag in the very narrow pocket at the bottom and then this has a, try to catch this in the frame, uh, a mini waterfall. This is a Martha Stewart punch uh, edge trim and then design paper on top and uh, again just places for a few photos and you can put them right on top of that page. The sticker is really just a, an accent and in this case this belly band is made with some paper and then some very pretty ribbon over top that's kind of see-through gives it an interesting effect and again place for photos and so on in there. Then we get over to the yellow pages and uh, in this case, it's just a side band, and the side band is made a little sturdier by actually starting out with some black cardstock and then with some yellow cardstock on top, and then a strip of the design paper, and it just makes the pocket a little sturdier. I had some fun with this one. It's really leftover pieces, made a, a tag, and then used leftover pieces from the design paper just for some interest to make the tag, and it's plain on the back. And then again, here in this section, you can just put a photo, whatever you might like there. And then on this side, still with the yellow, we have a different shape tag, little fussy cut uh, flower from the collection and just with some ribbon trim. And down here we have the side, little side pocket with a folded, uh, the edge folded over 
and a couple of little tags with a flower, a paper flower with a brad in the center, just tucked in there. And then this little flower at the bottom is just made again with a small flower punch, um, several layers of, of petals, and then a small brad to hold those together. And then this one opens up this way. And we have a, another different type of handmade envelope that you could put a photo or whatever the case may be into the center portion there and then close it up. It's just kind of a fun little feature. And another belly band with a couple of tags uh, under that with a bit of ribbon trim and so on. And just plain. And this would be a good sized photo could slide underneath there as well. And then on this side, once again, a full page of the design paper with a belly band and a couple of tags. So lots of space in this album. And then on this page, again, still with the yellow, if I can get it out of here. There we go. There's a large photo mat and it's plain on the one side and then has the just plain yellow cardstock on the other to put a photo on and then it just slides inside the, the page like this. So it's an envelope page. And just a pocket with a bit of that Martha Stewart uh, edge punch trim and it has a bit of a border on it um, on the underside of the actual pocket to give it a little bit more give so you can put a few more things in it and then there's just a, a tag in there for the time being. Then moving to the blue pages and the first thing we have is a waterfall and uh, these are just pages that again you can put pictures on or whatever the case may be so lots of room for photos and on the very underside of that is a pocket with a good size tag in there. And then this page opens and we have a pocket on the side and it's actually divided down the center and has a fabric flower um, just for as an accent and a couple of small tags that uh, would be great for a little bit of journaling or very small photos and in fact this is also a tuck spot here as well you could tuck a photo in there and again a belly band um, on the plain black cardstock with a good sized tag in there And a little pocket at the bottom of this page with a couple of tags, uh, one with a fussy cut flower from the collection. And this one is a bit of a booklet really, a very small couple of tags put together with ribbon. A uh, couple of sizes there for pictures if you like. Then moving to the green, uh, and this is a split page as you can see, uh, both on the same hinge. And they really are the same uh, as well, but just a different look. So uh, just a plain space on the very front for a photo or whatever with the Martha Stewart edge trim punch. And then inside uh, these little bands, you could tuck some, something under them. They're fairly tight, so they're really mostly decorative. And then once again, the punched flowers with just a gel pen used for the center of the flowers and lots of room for small photos or for making notes. And then on this side, uh, some embellishments with some flowers, a combination of paper punched flowers and fabric flowers with a nice center um, of a, a green pearl, which I think is so pretty. And then this one opens up and though you won't see it uh, in the frame, the other opens down with lots of room for, for photos. Then we move to the orange page and, uh, and this one again goes down. I'll try to pull this up. And inside this belly band is a little booklet and it's held together with a magnet and uses some stickers and it just attached a couple of spots there for photos. You could attach them down or just put them underneath the edges of these flowers to hold them in place. Uh, so just a little 
a little booklet there that slides underneath easily. And then this one goes up and you've got a large uh, center section that's held with a magnet for a large photo or whatever the case may be. In this case I've made a very large tag that you could put photos on and that's held in place uh, with a magnet. And on this side, this is a fold out and it just pulls out like this with a magnet as well and a couple of pockets in this and uh, on both sides and the little tags fit in there. They're quite, quite cute and they just slide in. And then down at the bottom of this page is a different envelope again and in this case this one is a good sized um, envelope that you can actually it's an accordion envelope so lots of space for um, putting in various items. Then to the pink page, a very bright pink, um, and just a tag in a pocket at the bottom with the Martha Stewart edge punch and in this case it has a large tag slash booklet for adding photos and so on with a bit of a ribbon pull and a pearl stopper and that just again slides right into the pocket here on the pocket page and this one opens up oh my goodness too many pages and uh, just a I love this poppy paper, oh, mind you, I liked all of it. And it has a little stopper at the bottom for tucking something into. And this side has uh, two tags and uh, again with some ribbon trim and some pearls. And on the inside, um, this one has two pockets, double matted and uh, two large tags, both of which have ribbon trim, but they're just different designs and uh, both ribbon and uh, pearl accents on those tags. And then the last has a bit of a mini waterfall that just folds down with a place for pictures and then another one of the paper bands, uh, belly bands with uh, ribbon trim just as an accent. It's well, very pretty. And this side on the back cover is a fold out uh, with a little spot for I think journaling and perhaps some little um, little pictures and that's that particular album so again lots of fun to do it's a good size and uh, but doesn't need any special closer closure it stays closed uh, nicely on its own